dear brothers and sisters, I often talk about this world slipping into the class of devil and uh, one of the reasons why this happens is because we forget about a very important spiritual principle about silence because devil is depicted as a snake and the snake whispers and this whisper is uh, trying to tell us something okay but the most important thing is distracting us from following Christ from hearing God's voice from doing what is right and this brought the fall of the first humans and this brings all the things that happen and this whisper is what we hear all the time all day long from the morning till night we hear radio we hear ads we listen to music all the time we go to our apps and we uh, listen to many things like, like uh, YouTube and stuff like that and um, uh, eventually uh, we think that we save our time our thinking oh I'm listening I'm learning so much uh, in fact uh, the more we know we uh, make ourselves filled with stuff that is not necessary we don't need it and the true uh, treasures spiritual are not uh, growing the seed is not growing okay these thorns uh, come so uh, today i want to say a few words about this uh, how um, how can we manage this problem um, well First of all, we need to really discover that we have this problem. We can try uh, going to the forest and just uh, staying in silence. And very often, most people would feel that there is this noise coming from them. There is all kinds of thoughts and images and all kinds of stuff going on. That means that we are unable to have this silence in our heart. Even though there is silence outside, we are filled with all kinds of noise. Our conscious, subconscious, everything is filled, our heart is filled with all kinds of, of, of stuff. Okay? Um, when we try to pray, we also want to count down, to, to focus on the words, but there is this noise coming out. So we need to discover that this is a problem. When we uh, go uh, drive a car, okay, we always turn on some music, some, we cannot do without it. This means addiction, okay? it's not healthy. We don't want to just keep silent and listen to God, okay? think about uh, God, pray. We don't want, we want this uh, entertainment. Okay? This is hell actually, okay? this is what hell is like. Um, Okay, all kinds of noise and uh, okay, it's, it's, uh, there is no God there. Okay, we, we feel that there is no God, there's emptiness, we need to feel it with, with some pleasant music. When people talk very often, they cannot stop. If there is silence, people get nervous, something wrong. You need to speak, 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 no matter what they say. Okay, this uh, uh, shows us this uh, sick uh, situation that we're in. Uh, and. Um, these ads that we see, we can see the nature okay, everywhere, even YouTube. Okay, we watch something and then it pops out and something happens. Usually it's trying to distract us, okay, to attract atten attention to what's happening. Some, some movements, some, uh, uh, some effects, okay, sound effects, they are trying to distract us. To, to, yes, they want to promote some stuff. Okay, they want you to think about that and that that's what the devil is doing okay he's try, trying to distract us okay many saints they found uh, God in the forest okay M many people found faith when they were in the nature looking at the sky at the uh, sea okay they, 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 they felt God's presence and uh, felt his voice and uh, they discovered faith. 
not when they're running around all day, all day long, day by day, okay, and the whole life uh, finishes, okay, uh, all of a sudden. Uh, many saints, uh, they later, they, um, when they wanted to be with God, they also withdrew from towns, from uh, even from villages, and they settled in some forests, in some deserts, okay, and there they've done spiritual uh, warfare. Uh, we uh, we uh, we know that uh, our spiritual eyes are closed, our spiritual ears are closed. Uh, there, there is a very uh, interesting controversy. Okay, uh, the logic of spiritual life is uh, often contrary. It contradicts the logic of uh, regular, uh, okay, common sense or uh, uh, okay, normal uh, beliefs. That there are okay for example we think that if we sleep well we had a good night's sleep then we are good we're good to go we are empowered to do many things well we will be actually spiritually a slap we will be uh, sleeping spiritually if we every time have a good uh, sleep and we're okay this is a little bit uh, uh, for us not uh, very evident, but that's uh, what what happens. That's why many saints they prayed at night and the Lord himself he went and prayed all night and uh, uh, in uh, Luke 6 12 and in uh, Mark he also will pray the early morning he woke up. That's the time when it's silence and uh, that's the time when he uh, could talk to God. So, uh, and in monasteries, even now, people, uh, monks, they don't sleep that long. They sleep maybe two, three hours, then they pray. Maybe there is a little, uh, like a nap, or like a half hour. So there is, uh, there is uh, no, no like big, nice eight, 10 hour sleep or something like that. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, well, more evident uh, things is like food. We think that we eat a lot, uh, and then we will have power, we will we have meat, we have all this, then we will have power, we can do many things. Well, we maybe we can, uh, I don't know, build a house or something, but we won't, uh, 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 usually we won't, we won't to get uh, asleep. We know that uh, when we eat well uh, and we are full, we want to go to bed or maybe okay, uh, relax, uh, lie down lay down that's uh, that's a common thing and uh, when we eat few stuff okay when we control what we eat we actually we have more energy and we, we have more spiritual vigilance okay we, we can think more about spiritual stuff that's why we fast uh, when we look a lot of uh, watch uh, videos okay some people watch many videos all the time every day few few of them uh, or play these games, uh, watch a lot of uh, visual stuff. We get spiritual eyes uh, we don't see. Okay? They they are blocked because we see too much uh, images. We we are blocking it. Uh, when we uh, when we listen to things all the time, radio lectures and uh, like all the time music, we don't hear God's voice. The same logic. Okay? When we speak too much, okay, we have conversations every day. We cannot say anything to God. Okay, this this controversy. We speak a lot physically, but spiritually we become dumb. We become unable to say things. So uh, this uh, this is a very interesting uh, uh, observation. Of course, it doesn't mean that we need to not to eat at all, not to watch any movies at all. Okay, not to talk to people at all. Okay, unless we're like super monks or something, but um, uh, the Holy Father still Saint Augustine. He is telling us, for example, that uh, we need to have like a bridle, uh, like it's it's like a horse. Our spiritual uh, life self is like a horse, and we need to control. Okay, we need to control um, our body, our uh, desires. Okay, uh, and uh, we need to know when to pull, when to release. Okay, and then we will train this horse, we will tame the horse. Otherwise, it's gonna be like uh, crazy, uh, wild, running around, throwing out uh, us. Okay, we cannot control it. 
and that's what's happening with us and that's why we're now running all like this uh, herd of pigs swine uh, that were running to that uh, Persepites and all of them dying yeah, that's what's happening with the world now and that's why we need this vigilance to be vigilant we need to be able to have full control of our internal world if we decide something we do it if we pray we say something to God we really say it with our heart this is very important if we want to be soldiers of Christ um, we are now very earthly and we are dragged by what's happening in this earth we need to have more spiritual self-control uh, many uh, people now they think about going away from civilization it's too uh, well th this is uh, just thoughts but um, uh, in reality most people they are coming to cities okay and they want to uh, have more a higher salary, have more uh, opportunities. You know. Well, the more opportunities you have in this world, the less opportunities maybe you'll have in the world to come. The more knowledge you receive in this world, maybe the less knowledge about God you know. Okay, uh, we know that the many uh, uneducated people, uh, peasants, uh, spiritual people, they uh, know much more. They they have uh, greater wisdom even about earthly things no, 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 and uh, more so even about spiritual things so uh, I'm not saying no need for education no but uh, uh, we need to know how to filter out unnecessary stuff okay uh, let's read uh, the Gospel of Matthew uh, when the second coming is gonna come what is it gonna be like and we'll see that this is what's happening in our world now uh, Matthew 40, uh, 24, uh, verse 36 to 39. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood they were eating, and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Everybody is going to be marrying and building houses and uh, sending rockets into space and building some other things, uh, hyperloops, and uh, doing all kinds of projects, but all of a sudden, all of that is gone, it's burned. Uh, yes, the, the, uh, there is this phrase also in the, uh, the Bible that uh, when this will happen, the, this world, this earth, and all the deeds on it as, are going to be burned away. This also tells us these deeds, these are projects, all kinds of projects. It's going to be just burned, finished. That's going to be why. Why? Because it's all empty. It's all um, <clears throat> has no value in the God's eyes. And we need to uh, look for what does have value in God's eyes. How to uh, live according to His will. And so few people think about it. Uh, okay, so uh, let us uh, be knowledgeable, let us uh, uh, be able to have this silence, to have this uh, silent prayer, this very isichasm. Okay, it is a very important tradition in the Orthodox Church of silent prayer. When we, our heart is silent and we even don't need to say words and our heart speaks to God. Uh, let us uh, uh, think about this and uh, have a good protection, a vaccination against the spirit of this world that is trying to fill us with all kinds of noise. Amen. May the Lord help you and bless you. Amen.